Well, I'm at work and I'm rejigging this print rack and I found something rather interesting about the P1S. So this P1S is running on 120 volts and these ones are running on 208. If we go and change the temperature of the bed and we set this to, let's say 80 degrees and I say go and then this one also 80 degrees and you can see they're both starting at about 22 degrees so go and go and this one is climbing like crazy and that would be because the bed runs on mains voltage and we've effectively doubled the power because we've almost doubled the voltage this one's 45 this one's still at 29, 30, and it's just slowly climbing like it usually does. But man, look at this one. This one's almost at 60 degrees already. Now, I know there's going to be two questions about why I'm doing this. Well, first off, our old printers ran on these large meanwhile power supplies. So they output 24 volts, 125 amps a piece and we had six of these running the old print farm. Uh, these are 3000 watts a piece. And because we had three phase power here, we were running these on 208 with a 12 gauge wire feeding them. And that's all supplied by this big transformer and everything is already set up inside this panel. So I didn't want to touch anything inside the panel. I just wanted to leave all of the wiring in here. And we're retiring all of our old AnyCubic. And we've got oodles of these things. And I've got about 50 more at our storage unit. Hey, look at this one's finally getting to 80 degrees. Next thing I bet people will mention is this voltage is too high for this printer. Well, according to Bamboo, it's good for 100 to 240 volts. So yeah, 